Well, I guess it's pretty obvious that I'm um, standing at the, the Nintendo press conference. It's just been concluded here at the, the Nokia Plaza. It's, it was a very low-key event. Uh, usually at a Nintendo press conference, people are sharing and, and going crazy. But uh, they, they opted for a more sober uh, venue this time. And uh, I guess they, they kept a lot of the, the most uh, noisy Nintendo fans out this year. But they did have a lot to talk about and a lot to reveal. And they started out with a bang with a new Mario game, uh, Super, new Super Mario Bros. on, on the Wii, uh, which looked like a lot of fun. Uh, you know, 2D Mario, is you, you can never go wrong with that. And, and adding the, the four-player component is going to be very interesting to see uh, how that turns out and uh, to try that out. But of course, that was not the only thing with Mario that we got to see. We got to see uh, Super Mario Galaxy 2. Uh, first time... Uh, uh, Full-on 3D Mario gets a sequel on the, during the same um, console generation. You know, of course, there have, hasn't. You know, it's Super Mario 64, then uh, Super Mario Sunshine, then Super Mario Galaxy. So it, it's a uh, yeah, it's a first. But uh, that, that looked like a lot of fun, and I'm very excited about that. And I think Nintendo really addressed what uh, the, the hardcore audience wanted from them. They wanted more of the, the core Nintendo experiences, more of the, the, the games that we've grown up with uh, and, and learned to love. And, of course, the new Metroid was a great surprise. Uh, the collaboration with Team Ninja. Uh, after three uh, first-person games, we get a, a different direction for the, the Metroid franchise on, on Nintendo Wii with the other M. And, uh, you know, perhaps it will be uh, somewhat similar to, to what Team Ninja have done with the Ninja Gaiden series, a more physical kind of gameplay, and it looked uh, interesting, to say the least. I mean, it's, it's so hard to judge anything from a, from a short trailer, but um, it's an interesting proposition, to, uh, at, at the very least. And uh, But Nintendo... You know that's that's all the hardcore news. Um, for the hardcore gamers, that's that's m might be the most important stuff that they they revealed. Uh, I'm very excited about the new, the prospect of a new Golden Sun, uh, but they also had some news for for the more casual audience with um, Wii Fit Plus. That is, that is sure to sell. You know another 15 million copies or something. I don't know. And uh, they also had uh, Ivata was on the stage to reveal uh, uh, what what has been rumored for years and years. Uh, the the pulse meter, the Wii vitality sensor. Uh, they didn't really show any game, but it sounded like it was some kind of meditative game or, or maybe a yoga game or something where you're when you're actually uh, trying to relax. Uh, but that there are, are of course a lot of ways you can uh, use this this uh, device in uh, other genres and other games, and it's going to be interesting to see which developers uh, will make use of it. Um, other than that, it was, I mean, it was a short press conference, but it was packed with stuff. And uh, I think it was uh, a very good answer to what Microsoft had, uh, even though perhaps Microsoft had more big hitters. But it's hard to, it's hard to put, you know, a new Halo against the new Super Mario game. So it was definitely worth coming here, and, and uh, Nintendo looked like they have a very strong couple of years ahead of them.